guys this is always back with another tutorial in this tutorial we'll talk about altering object display order so I've got a circle here I've got a rectangle here they're both are hatch objects so let's say I will move this rectangle about here and what I want to do I want to hide this rectangle part overlapping that green circle part at the back so there's a command called dr basically it's a draw order but the alias is dr so press spacebar and now i want to doesn't matter which one i select first so let's say i'll select this rectangle and i press spacebar and i'll get two options i've got two options here it's first options above object second under object so it's front and back if you want to send it to back or you want to bring it to front so let's say you got four objects at the back right so you can send it all the way back with one command but this time i want to use this so i will use under object press u and spacebar and now it's going to ask me select the reference object so that would be my reference object and i press spacebar as you can see that that the rectangle is gone backwards so let's let's um, type a text here about there so I'll type a text and just a random text and now I will move this text about here so let's say I've got two objects on the top of this rectangle now just move my text a bit here so so now i've got two objects i've got this circled and i've got this text so just type dr select this object and now we're going to use front so press front so it does not matter how many objects were there it is going to bring all the way up to the front so i'll undo and we have a look one more thing so just say dr select this object and I'll select this above object so this time I'll select this press spacebar as you can see that the rectangle came in front of the green circle but not in front of the text so that's the difference between front and back and object under object and above object so one more thing let's say I will type dr select the text and I will select this back so it's gone backward now so now there's another command called text to front so text to front so text to front and I will type a for all and any text is there anywhere on your drawing and that will come at the front so there are a few commands that um, I can't cover that in this video uh, but for now that's it and thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys in the next tutorial.